Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. As you know, retopology is a very important part of creating a 3D character. And as you can see, here I have a sample head and I've done some retopology on it. And you can see it looks very very nice. In this episode I'm going to share a few tricks on how to improve your topology. Or in other words, how to fix your topology. And to do that, you can see here, this topology doesn't need any fixing, but this one does. So together, we'll go over of what is wrong with the topology and how to fix it. So in edit mode, let us start with this part here. As you can see, the shading is weird. And this is much pretty simple. If you follow this line, you can see that this vertex is just going off too far. So you want to just press G. And bring it back and now it is fine when it comes to the eyebrows well you can see something weird is happening there it is because the edge is snapping to the back of the head so feel free to select those edges and then snap them according to the view so you want to go to the front and snap them where they are and now they're looking very messy i mean we can just try and line them up manually but the easiest way to line them up is to select them, press right click, and then use the smooth vertices option. So you can even go down here and repeat the process a couple of times until you get a perfect result. Now let us just select it again, press G and confirm it. And you can see smooth vertices actually gives us a nice option, faces them out evenly and makes the flow overall much much nicer. But when it comes to much more complex shapes, for example the eyes or the nostrils, you can see getting a perfect circle is a bit difficult. This is why there is an amazing Blender default and free add-on that we are going to use. So you want to go to the edit, preferences and just search for loop tools. You want to make sure that is enabled. And then, how to find the loop tools? You need to go here, into edit, and here they are. So, they actually just help us make some other shapes, for example, circles and curves. What I'm going to do is select this loop cut, the one I actually want to relax a bit. And I actually have the option called relax. Click it a couple of times, and you can see it just spaces them out evenly. It makes them conform to the head in general. You can see this is the mesh. And this is how it looks like. Otherwise, it is very beautiful. Here we can also use even the space. To make sure they are all spaced out evenly. And relax. To even further improve it. And of course, you always want to press G. When you have such things. So this means the vertex is going above the mesh. And with the snapping enabled, you want to press G to conform it to the mesh. That way you know the flow is perfect. But when it comes to bigger areas like this, there is another tool that we can use. And that tool is not located in edit mode, but otherwise it is a bit hidden in the sculpt mode. So let us go up here and switch to the sculpt mode. Here we have all sorts of brushes. And the one we are going to use is called the Slide Relax. And you probably know of that brush, you can just click, hold and move the vertices or the mesh in any direction. But the did you know, if we hold shift while having the Slide Relax selected, it will actually smooth the vertices. And it's different from the Smooth Brush, let me just undo this, what I did now. So the Smooth Brush will do something like this. It will smooth it. But slide relax will just take into account and make an even better result. In other words, the vertices will not just go all around the place, but this will just make sure everything is perfect. So you can just hold shift, go around and smooth it very nicely. And as you can see, it also spaces them out evenly. For example, on the nose, if it's a bit too pumped up, you can just go and it will just make them all the same size. Basically amazing. Let us go back to the edit mode. 
And for this part, we can also, again, use the loop tools. So I will go here. And then I'll use the option called circle. And once I do, you can see I get a perfect circle. I just now need to position a bit more. When it comes to this, I can use the smooth vertices option and it fixes it instantly. Let me use the circle for this option too. And if you get a result like this, you can just always press R, rotate it and then snap it into position. This part here, I'll just select and use once again smooth vertices. And you can see this is already looking so much better. And of course, after you finish the retopology, first want to make sure everything is snapping correctly like this. Then you can exit to the object mode, click on the topology, and of course you want to shade smooth it. But you might run up to something like this. Like what is happening when I just shade it flat, go into edit mode, well, everything seems fine, doesn't it? Well, to see what's wrong, First, we can go to the overlays and click on the face orientation. And you can see this part is red. It means that those faces are flipped inside out. In other words, you can select the whole mesh, hold Alt and press N, and recalculate the normals outside. When everything is blue, that means everything is working fine. And now we can just shade smooth it. And of course, you can go back to the overlays and disable face orientation. And now, let us compare the results. Let me just make sure this is shade flat. So this is the first one. And this is the second one. And they are both looking amazing. Hope this video helped you. If it did, feel free, like, share, subscribe. It helps me a lot and I appreciate it so. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye bye.